Welcome. What I like to do is I want to talk to you about some angle relationships. Um, very cool, right? And the angle relationships that we're going to be talking about is going to be some angle relationships that are going to occur between two lines and a transversal. So we can have two lines that look like this. We can also have two lines that are going to look like this. And you could say, oh, those look like those are parallel. But we can't assume or confirm that they're parallel unless we are told that they are parallel. So now I say we have two parallel lines, all right? Now, before we get into actually discussing the transversal, the main important thing when we're discussing um, angle relationships with, uh, between two lines in a transversal, we want to make sure we understand the difference between interior and exterior. And you might say, well, I know the difference between interior and exterior. But when we're talking about two lines, um, and a transversal, I want to make sure it's understood that between the two lines is what we're going to call the interior. And outside, or not in between the two lines, is going to be represented what we call the exterior. And that's become very important when we're talking about our angle relationships and how we're going to label them. So the next thing I'm going to have is a transversal. Okay? And a transversal, again, is a line that is going to intersect two other lines. Um, so anytime we have a line that's going to be intersected, we're going to have angle relationships. Angles are going to be related in a certain manner. So the first way we can relate angles is looking at the angles that are on the interior. And when we have angles that are on the interior and are on the same side of the transversal, we call those angles same side interior. Very, very hard to remember, right? Same side interior, same side of the transversal, both interior. And same side interior angles would be an example is angle 1 and an angle 2. You could also do these two angles, right? I'm just going to give one example. Angle 1 and angle 2, all right? Now, when we take, um, so we could have them on the same side, or we could also have them on opposite sides, right? Or what we like to call alternating sides. So I could have angle 1 here. I could also say, well, what about, what about if I put an angle here? Now you could say that angle 3 and angle 1, those are what we call alternate interior angles. I know you could say, well, 3 and 2 are, are both interior and opposite sides. I understand. But once we get into parallel, parallel lines, you will see why we call these alternate interior. These two make up a linear pair. We already have a name for those. These are complementary. But these two are what we call alternate interior. Alternate tier, an example is angle 1 and angle 3. Okay, And you could also do angle 2 and put an angle there. Um, you know, but we're not going to get through them. So we have alternate, exterior, alternate interior. The next one is alternate exterior. And alternate exterior, again, is going to be two angles that are exterior. And they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So let's look at this one. We'll call that angle 4. And I'll call this one angle 5. Um, <clears throat> Again, we want to make sure that these are going to be our special relationships. You might say, well, why can't they be same side exterior? Or why can't alternate exterior be these two? Um, again, it's going to co probably come make more sense when we look into the parallel, just parallel lines. But just knowing the, con just knowing the relationship, alternate exterior are going to have a special relationship that we want to make sure we s remember. So alternate exterior. And alternate exterior an example would be angle 4 and angle 5. Let's see here. OK. So you can see I'm labeling the angles. And there's more than you know, these two angles. You could also say these two. These are on opposite sides of the, alt of the transversal. And they're also both exterior. And the last one that we're going to talk about is corresponding. All right. Now, corresponding. Um, we've already kind of covered our interior and our exterior. Corresponding angles are when we have an angle that's on the interior as well as an angle that's on the exterior. And they also have to be on the same side. And corresponding a lot of times gets students because it's not talking about interior or exterior, right? So that maybe will give you a trigger. Hey, if it doesn't say interior or exterior, then maybe I might have to discuss maybe that it might have both of them in there. And just remember corresponding are kind of like same side. They're on the same side. One is, in, one is exterior, one is interior. So corresponding angles, an example, would be angle 5 and angle 2. Angle 5 and angle 2. 
They're on the same side. One is interior, one is exterior. Okay. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. These are your four main angle, uh, four main angle relationships that we're going to be dealing with uh, in regards to uh, when a transversal intersects two lines. Thanks.